everyone, it's me again. Um, it's March 12, 2013, and um, I've already reported the dates for the day. So um, I'm just going to take you along for the ride now. Um, well, uh, warning, if you don't want to hear any negativity or ranting, um, click me off now because this is not HCG related and it's not all flowers and puppies and rainbows. Um, okay, so one, two, three. You guys gone yet? Okay, so um, I guess I'm stuck with all the Debbie Downers and the negative Nellies. Hey! All right, I uh, went into BJ's and I have a problem with BJ's. I do still shop there because they have organic stuff that I just can't get at Costco's. And um, so I do go there, but I hate, hate, hate going there. And um, I've had so many problems with this self-checkout thing. Um, and that's really mostly all they have. They only usually have like one cashier and everything else is self-checkout. So, um, the last year, like twice in a row, I had a problem with this, with the self-checkout. And I was like there, like, I'm serious, like 40 minutes or so, just trying to get all my stuff rung up. All my things are melting. I got all these frozen organic berries and everything and frozen vegetables and everything was like melting. And the, the belt just kept saying like it would ring it up and then it would like void it out because it said that the the belt was um, full and I had to clear the belt but you can't clear the belt because you're not allowed to put the stuff in the cart until you're finished ringing out. It's like a mess. So I had complained and um, I even I complained a few times about this to the managers. I even called corporate and all that and um, so finally their resolution was to apologize to me and they did give me a couple months membership free you know which is really nothing because let's face it pj's um you know it doesn't cost that much to be a member it's not a big deal anyways um so i haven't really been there very much since that you know experience and um i tried to go the other day you guys were with me and it was just daylight savings day when i pulled up um, uh, the girl was like, gave me the gooseneck, uh, eye roll and was like, oh no, we're closed, you know, get with the program. So, uh, yeah, that was, you know, another black mark on, uh, on the, um, BJ blacklist. Anyways, um. So, I went in today, and, you know, I went in with a good attitude, and, um, you know, I was just anticipating greatness and finding some good organic stuff, uh, and I powered through there. I don't like to spend a lot of time there, don't like it, don't care for the energy there, but um, I got my stuff, filled up my cart, and I proceeded to ring out, and again, there was only self-checkout available. Um, I first asked if there was any coupon books. They said no. You know, they never have coupon books. They never send the coupon books. And the coupon things does not come off at the cashier like it does um, at Costco. You know, Costco, you don't need the coupon. It's just there for advertisement. So I already said something to the manager right then and there before I even finished shopping. I pitched a fit. And I was just like, you know, it's always, you guys never have the coupons, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I think you remember me from the last time. He's like, oh, yeah, I do. Anyways, so I go to check out. And again, um, the belt is doing all that stuff. And uh, finally, one of the checkout helper people come over. But she was like out to lunch, you know, or, or worse than out. She was like in another planet. And um, she was not helping me. And every, I would ring like two items and then it would void it out and tell me I had to clear the belt. And so finally I just purchased the things that finally successfully went through, which was only half of my items. Everything's melting. I ended up having to load all those things separate into the cart. The ones that I paid kept them separate from the ones that I didn't pay. And I had to go down and wait in line with the one cashier that was there and had her ring me up. And of course, uh, I don't know. She must have been related to the other woman because she was out to lunch too. Like maybe they were having lunch together. Um, so when I got to the end of um, the checkout and I'm going to pay her, 
I then noticed that the other belt that I was at, the self-checkout belt, was number eight. And this is the one that I've complained to them about every single time. It gives me a problem. I don't really think it is number eight. It just so happens that it was number eight. I think it's all the self-checkout belts. So um, I lost it. I lost it and um, that manager, uh, Rodney, came up because he had already had the conversation with me about the coupon book and he remembers me from last year. So uh, I pitched a fit and he was apologizing and at this point apologies just aren't going to do it. So I said I want a gift card and I'm not moving until I get a gift card. And there was a couple of, you know, choice words and everything and he scurried off and he got me a gift card, $25 gift card and I was nasty I was I was just potty mouth and um, total drama I have to say I'm, I'm not proud of that uh, but you know hungry I've been up since uh, you know 6 30 a.m. and you know I just don't have patience for something that is so simple like good customer service and if they have a problem with their equipment they've had a good couple of years to get a fix since I've been a customer I've heard the same story oh we're looking into that we're gonna get we got somebody to roll whatever you know what please don't try to buy yourself time with me and give me that BS. I know. I know what's up. So, then I go to check out the door, right? You know, the door checker. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. So, these guys, I don't know. I don't know if they were in the same retirement uh, uh, home, like mentally retired somewhere. They were like off sipping Mai Tais or what, but, or at lunch with the two checkers or what was going on. But, you know, the guy standing there going, one, and then looking at the receipt to match it. Two, and then looking at the receipt to match it. So, after five minutes of this, he then says, you know, you have one void receipt and one receipt with 12 items on it. You don't have a receipt for the rest of the items. And I said, I paid for everything. I assure you, roll back that footage because I paid and your manager Rodney knows and, you know, everybody here has heard me. I have, didn't you hear me over there? Anyways, um, he proceeded to say he had to call Rodney and I said, listen, I know you're trying to do your job. I know you have to check the receipt. I get all that, but I'm not up with the program anymore. I've had it. I'm leaving. So you can call Rodney. He'll clear it up. He'll, he'll you know, show you the receipt because it's in his hand, I assure you. He kept it by accident, at, but I'm leaving. So he jumped in front of the cart to block it and he said, I can't let you leave. And I said, oh, yeah, I'm leaving. So um, you can go ahead and call the police if you like. I'll be over there loading up my trunk in the hoopty over there. And um, if you have any problems, that's where I'll be. It'll take me a while because I didn't bring any bags and everything's loose. Okay? But I'm going. So out of my way. And I then went uh, to load up the trunk. And um, Rodney, the manager, came running out and of course I started raging again you know I was like I can't believe I went through all that and then you guys you know do that the whole thing at the checkout why don't you you know spend as much time checking people out as you do checking people out like at the door once they've already paid and uh, so here I am having this tirade and I basically got a standing ovation in the parking lot from all the other disgruntled BJ's customers. Um, apparently not too many people stick up for themselves and I did. I certainly do not uh, condone, you know, being drama or cursing, but I couldn't help myself today. And um, I felt bad for Rodney and I apologized over and over and over again that he was on the receiving end and for any um, choice words that I chose <laughs> to spew at him. Um, and I even apologized to the guy parked next to me uh, whose jaw was dropped and you know I apologized to him for my negativity and that he had to witness it. He said, no, no, you did really good. I wish I would have done that so many times. So um, <sighs> yeah, that was my day. <laughs> and now I get to unload the car um, because I'm going to avoid valet. You know how I feel about that. Um, so I'm going to have to make many trips with all my melted stuff because, um, you know, it took me so long. 
And uh, so I guess I'm not going to get a nap. But I think I'm going to try to have cream in my coffee. Anyways, I'm hushing up.